Canadians continue to conquer the horror genre, and The Last Will and Testament of Rosalind Lee is a film that will stand amongst them. Having recently enjoyed an international screening tour, this film will get a theatrical release in select cities, followed by a DVD release in March. We had a chance to chat with the film's lead actor, Aaron Poole. Um, well, I play Leon Lee, who's an antique dealer who's called back to his family home in order to reconcile his mother's estate. And when he returns to this home that he's been away from forever, uh, it's filled with uh, collectibles that he sold to an anonymous buyer online. And uh, so he's trying to reconcile the state, but also get over um, a lot of sort of the uh, haunting from the past, so to speak. Mm -hmm. It's an odd movie because it does um, center on my character's reaction, uh, but it's really not about me. I think it's about my mom, mm -hmm. um, who uh, Vanessa Redgrave uh, has voiced for the film. So she sort of carries the, I think, the main load of the narrative and um, me and the antiques are looked at. Um, how you felt about taking so much of the, of the story and just being a singular character in it. Quite often actors like to, oh, I don't know, work with other people. Yeah. So <laughs> was that very hard? It, it, it was difficult. It wasn't difficult to accept the project because I really wanted to work with Rodrigo for a while. And, you know, this is his first feature and I love doing first features, uh, new directors. Um, but it was actually really challenging. It turned out to be quite technical. Um, there's these very sort of long roving shots through the helm. Uh, I'll be at the beginning and it, the shot will wander into another room and then you'll find me upstairs in the same shot. Mm -hmm. So I really had to work hard to kind of um, get the timing down with the DOP as, as well as obviously be present for each of the scenes. Where was it shot? It was an amazing location and it, in fact it's what inspired the creation of the story. Um, it is in Weston Village which is in the northwest part of Toronto. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a home, modern, uh, that is filled with a private antiques collection. And so uh, once you see the film, you'll, uh, uh, you know, for the audience members, um, you're, you'll be astonished to know that not a single item was brought in by set decorators. It was all a part of the collection. Yeah, I did, yeah. So they, I mean, moved things around the home and composed it um, such that, you know, it, it would look good for camera, but they have an amazing private collection of things. I, interestingly, I did two uh, thriller suspense films last year, uh, Last Will and Testament of Rosalind Lee and something called The Conspiracy that's coming out in June. And um, both of them have strong emotional backbones. Um, they have a, an intellectual rigor to them, and that's what attracted me, and they happen to be scary. Last Will has some more horror elements in it than The Conspiracy, but I'm fans of films that are scary, but don't um, set out to kind of shock you or make you jump. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I think that uh, violence and fear are great elements for a cinematic experience. Calm down. What's the matter? 